Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. Hi. Nandito ang chamber to make sure that we push for more workplace uh, safety kumbaga sa sa lahat ng miyembro natin. Kung sa akaman at trabaho, meron kamang kumpanya, siguraduhin po natin na ito ay hindi nagdi-discriminate sa lahat ng mga tao uh, regardless of their soji. Pangalawa, gusto rin natin we want to raise the the LGBT leadership kumbaga in in the presence or consciousness rather of of the, the viewing public and to every people we get to talk to and uh, sana patuloy natin pag-usapan na marami po tayong miyembro na produktibo miyembro na patuloy na hinihikay na, nagaangat sa sa buhay ng kanilang mga kapwa na nakakasama nila sa negosyo sa kanilang uh, trabaho etc pangatlo di ba gel in the LGBT chamber of commerce we also like to learn from each other's uh, best practices. How do we learn more uh, pra- practices in other countries, from other countries or from other companies? And we'd like to implement or at least adopt these uh, best practices uh, across uh, the world. I don't think there's anything wrong if, you know, if if they will join, especially the Olympics. At maganda kasi siyang form of uh, representation and visibility for the trans community. Okay, Tsaka huwag tayo masyadong mag-dwell sa kalungkutan kasi sometimes people are get so depressed because of what's happening because they think it's only happening to them. No, it's happening yeah. to the whole world. No. Oo, hindi lang ikaw. Hindi lang ikaw ang sawi. So, you will be more kawawa. More kawawa? More. Wow. Talagang kawawa. <laughs> Essential ako. Kung talagang lalo mong nulog mo kin yung sarili mo, di ba? No. Tama. Mading tayo. Stand up. Ah... Uh, so so many so much pride that you can do everything diba yeah marami tayong ability at hindi yung gamitin yung pagdulungkot tanggalin yun hindi nakakaganda yung lungkot nakakorek nung kino conceptualize kasi namin yung library actually ang intention is a restaurant where you can read books while waiting for your orders ito yeah. yung concept niya and then eventually kasi galing ako ng bulwag ang ganti pala uh, nagsusulat ako ng mga comedy skits So, tinry namin, kung makikilin, ang first entertainer ko na no, si Arnel Ignacio at ka si Direk Ronnie Bertubin. Mga mahilig din. Si, si Direk Bertubin kasi monologista yun. No? So, we tried. Eh, nag-hit. Nag-hit siya, kumalat sa madati. So, every week na lang, may ginagawa na kami ganun show. Yung live comedy entertainment. Na stand-up ka lang talaga. Walang, walang kantahan. Basta tatayo ka for 30 minutes, may material ka, and then you make people laugh. Tapos, nag-hit siya na nag-hit. Tapos, Tumipila na yung mga tao na hindi na namin makomodate at kaya kinuha ko yung katabi and eventually lumaki ulit siya na namin katabi na, at naglast tapos nakalipat kami ng mas malaking venue tapos umabot siya ng 32 years hanggang sa tinuluyan ko na lang isara muna yung libro and wait for another chapter ng library. Ang crowd noon ang crowd noon ng library was supla na hindi sila nagbabayad yun know, ang mas mahal yun ang mas ah. importante yung panahon na yun yung mga komedya, yung mga audience hindi nagbabayad pero they chose to be there because they wanted to entertain. So siya, be sa mga tao. So parang, mm-hmm. ikaw mag-aaral, mag- talagang pag-aaral mo yung material mo, it's, it's, it's an art for you. Ang yeah. like, kutlay ko siya, sa mga bago, yung parang mag-aaral, tapos stick to your, mat- gumawa ng material, mag-isip ng mga bagay na nakakatawa, napakarami niyan sa paligid natin eh. Tapos parang, hanggat kaya mong hanapan ng nakakatawang isang bagay, Diretso na diretso. Huwag kang mga opya ng joke ng iba kasi hindi ka mag-grow as an artist. Magiging copycat ka lang. Dapat lagi kang original. Like Philip Lazarus' joke is totally different from Arnel Ignacio, uh, Alan Kay, Vice Ganda. Magkakaiba sila na atake. Nakuha ni Philip kasi yung dito ako magaling. Yung Englishserang social. Yung ganun. Tapos nilalait yung sarili niya. Sarili niya nilalait yung hindi yung audience. So nag-hit siya sa ganun eh. Ang parang talinu-talinuhan. Pero may thin line, no? May thin line uh, between being offensive and being funny. Kasi nga, yun nga yung napansin ko. Sometimes, mm. nalait na lang, di ba? Hindi na talaga mm. nakakatawa. You know, ako sa akin, ha? sorry, ang pinaka-importanteng factor sa isang komedyante, matalino. Tama. You should be intelligent <laughs> and you should be sensitive. You mm-hmm. should know how, you should know When you are hurting people, you should know when you are offensive to other people. Because you're so supposed to be funny. You're not supposed to ridicule other people and make, make fun. 
diba? parang ganoon it, it doesn't work that way you don't know the whole story parang well it doesn't work that way so talaga it's a very thin line na parang alam mo pangit mo no 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 hindi siya ganoon parang dapat matalino and sense okay. ano sa posible siya importante ng unang-una is uh, rest- uh, nga, you just know you need to show them that you know what you're talking about true you are in control because you are ik- ikaw ang may hawak ng microphone hindi sila tandaan mo yon so they dress up they take a bath they eat dinner because ikaw ang gimmick nila sa gabing yon so you should give them what they want di ba Uh, you know what you, you know your material you respect them as an audience uh, respect begets respect respect them they will give you back the respect mm-hmm. diba mm-hmm. diba pakita mo edukado ka yun lang naman yun kasi iba kasi bastos lagi siya sabi nila bastos ko kami dyan ito wag wow. uh, respetuhin mo yung audience mo no, no, let them know that you are in control you know mm-hmm. what you're saying you're a very sensitive person and then you'll be dignified lalabas silang may respeto sa'yo. Hindi ka lang nakakatawa, pero may respeto ka nila. That's true. Importante ang respeto. Tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. Kaya kasi, ang malate, yung ibang tao, di ba? Yung ibang, mal- ibang tao, na nahon ng kanilang pagkatao, nahon ng kanilang sexuality sa Malate. Ako uh-huh. nahon ng buong pagkatao ko at ang career ko sa Malate. Sa library, doon ko na decide, ah, I want to be an entertainer. Lahat ng tao, binabati ka, they look at you not because, they look at you simply because you are fabulous. You are great. Not because you're different. Because yeah. there in Malate then, no one was different. Everyone was the same. Yeah. Everyone was that's all there for one purpose, and that is to have fun. Yes, yeah. that's true. Kanya kanya interpretation ng fun eh. Fun is and happiness is very relative. So ang 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 dam dam choices sa Malate. Tapos lahat tang tao was there to have fun, to enjoy. Mm-hmm. You meet people, you say hi, ng ganon ganon. And one thing I miss is yung Halloween, my gosh! Halloween is perfect. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> the library is my legacy. So, oh, hindi man ako magtutuloy. I for sure isa sa mga naturo ang ko or naging anak ko sa library will continue the legacy. Tapos yung malate hindi naman siya nawawala. Iran eh, yung parin siya natutulog lang siya. Kailan lang siyang gising? Oh, yung ganda. Dating ko table coats, grabe. <laughs> Have fun, enjoy. Ah, uh, wag mo siyang gawin trabaho. Gawin mo siyang art. Uh, wag, wag mo sa expect na kikita ka rin. Hindi. Gawin mo sa uh, uh, gawin mo sa because you want to express yourself. You want yes. to bring happiness to other people. Mm-hmm. You want to have fun. Wag mo siyang gawin monetary thing. I mean, yes. Kasi once you're okay, once you're good, money will just come in. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero importante is nakakatawa ka mo. Find your own character. Wag ka maging copycat. Comedy is an art. Perfection is a must. Huwag nilang parang, ay, wala lang yan. Dadaanan ko lang yung comedy-comedy na yan. If you wanna be good, you tell me, be good. So, so practice na, practice na ng practice. Research. Isip ng bagong material, bagong jokes. Yan na naman yan. Ano sa mga bago, sa mga young generations na LGBTQ, uh, whatever. Ano lang, learn to love yourself first. Tapos, uh, maging mabuting tao, magrumispet sa kapwa, rumispet sa mga senyoras kasi hindi nyo alam kung agano kahirap ang pinagdaanan ng mga senior na ba din bago nagkaroon ng ganitong pride ang bawat ba din. And then for the safe space, safe pa rin yung nando ka sa family mo and friends na nakakaintindi sa'yo. That's the safest space. Who is the man whose pleasures depend on the permission of another? Diba? Diba? Mm-hmm. Try mm-hmm. when you're up there. <laughs> if you want to stand out, uh, try to stand out by being special, but not different. Be special. And Correct. safest place also, safest place is the place where are you most comfortable with yourself. For me, that is my family also. I like to be with my family. That's the safest place. Wherein you can be yourself, uh, say what you want, 
and you can sleep at night and smile every time. So yeah. it's still family. Family doesn't necessarily mean blood, okay? Yes. Because yes. If it's blood related, they're not called family, they're called relatives. That's but yeah. family, yeah. family is alone. Talaga mong safest place. Be yourself, oh, yeah. enjoy. And don't be scared of who you are. But don't sometimes yeah, you be proud. Try yeah. thing. Don't prove something. Sometimes mm-hmm. proving yourself makes you even cheaper, di ba? Mm-hmm. Di ba? Don't prove something. Okay. Just be yourself okay. and let them appreciate you or not. It's still, it's a choice. It's not your problem. Tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know.